Hey, this is Ken, and here are three things that you need to know for this last week of August 2023. We're coming to the end of this month, and a lot of things going on, a lot of things have been happening, a lot of things in the market. I've gotten a chance to do some continuing education, a little bit of inspiration, going to the Tom Ferry uh, Success Summit, which was really encouraging, and uh, getting to be a part of a lot of transitions and helping a lot of people here recently. I'm going to be taking a break for a couple weeks, getting a little vacation in, something that I've been needing for a while, especially changing careers. And that's a little bit about what I want to kind of talk about today as we look at ways to enhance life and enhance home. There's been a story that has come up over and over again about enhancing life, and I've read it, I've had it in a book, and then I heard it at the conference. And I want to share with you, if you haven't heard it for a while, it's a great little story to think about. And there's a story of a man with his son, and he's walking along. He comes across a group of three bricklayers. He comes to the bricklayers, and they come to the first guy and says, Hey, what is it that you're doing? And the first guy goes, I'm a bricklayer. I'm just putting one brick on top of the other. They go to the second bricklayer, and they ask him, What is it that you're doing? And the man says, I'm providing for my family. This is good. It's hard work, but it provides for the needs that my family has, and I like what I do. They come to the third individual, the bricklayer, and ask, what is it that you're doing? And the man stands up with his hands raised up and says, I'm building a cathedral to inspire people to bring families together to worship God to build relationships with communities that's what I'm doing what a great analogy and parable story for us today because everybody can look at what they're doing and have a different view of that work you know, some folks have asked me about my transition from being a pastor, which I still am. I'm just not doing it full time. I'm a supply pastor in the Methodist Church, helping to serve and relieve clergy when they need time off uh, during this period. But I'm a realtor full time now. And people ask, well, how's that different from ministry? I mean, you've left ministry. And no, I haven't. You know, as a pastor for years, I talked about people do ministry in their work every single day. You're doing it, I'm doing it, everybody's doing it. And you don't have to be ordained to do ministry and improve lives and do good things and to really do what Jesus said and the idea of paying it forward. All those things, doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. And what is your vision? That's the real thing. See, for me, it's enhancing life and enhancing home is really about helping people. It's a continuation of what I've done for years, and it's just on a more individual one-on-one basis, helping families uh, to fulfill their hopes and dreams and provide a place for their family. Uh, I can tell you different stories. One family that I helped, they were being... Uh, put out of their apartment. Somebody had bought their apartment. They were basically evicting all of the tenants and they needed a home and they had special needs kids. And so finding them a home, that was ministry. That was exciting. That was something that was so cool for me to be a part of. So, you know, we each get a chance to look at our lives in different ways. And what difference are you making? And that's something that you need to spend some time with. Now, Turning our attention to enhancing home, we are coming to the end of summer. I know that's hard to even talk about. You know, it's August, and as we do that, one of the things that I think about here in Alaska, and particularly, the days are getting shorter. You can see the noticeable difference now that we're getting evening and nighttime. And when we start to have that happen, what I start thinking about is lighting. And one way that you can enhance your home during this period is start to look at the light in your home as it starts to get darker, as those things happening. What are you doing to enhance the light in your home? Maybe it's different fixtures. Maybe it's changing bulbs to more LED lights or more natural light. You can actually get bulbs that are natural light 
that help. And for those of us that might have seasonal affective disorder and use happy lights, particularly here in Alaska, that might be something that you want to think about as the seasons begin to change. Maybe you want to accent a place in your home that may be a place that you like to read and you need better lighting for that and to get the correct lighting for you and for your home and finding those places that you need to expand that and give some more lighting as the days get a little bit shorter and we get a little bit more darkness and as we do that here in Alaska that's something to definitely be thinking about so the last thing then today is to talk about enhancing real estate and there's a number of things that have been going through my mind lately but there's one thing that I haven't made a video about that I think is incredibly important that I need to talk about uh, as a realtor and as I talk to people it's so very important here in Alaska and it's understanding recreational properties people come oftentimes now because of YouTube they get these ideas about coming and getting a conventional loan to go get property or land uh, out in the wilderness and because they want to have a homestead they want to have a cabin they want to live the Alaskan dream which is totally awesome and you can do that but you need to prepare for that and it's important to understand that not all real properties that is properties that have a cabin on it are going to qualify for a conventional loan uh, in Alaska. We have what are called recreational loans that will uh, suffice for certain things, but the important thing to know is that getting a recreational loan, recreational loans come usually with a shorter window. They're usually 15 year and shorter. They also usually come with higher interest rates. Not all homes will qualify for a conventional loan in the state of Alaska. One of the important things to always keep in mind, kind of uh, uh, just that little piece to remember is for if you're looking to buy a cabin, you have to have a room, a bedroom designated with a wall and a bathroom designated with a wall. And the bathroom has to provide the same features that would be available in a conventional home. So you have to have running water, you have to have a septic. Uh, so you can have a well or and you can have a septic, you can uh, and it has to qualify in order to get a conventional loan in the state of Alaska. Otherwise, you can apply for recreational loans or pay with cash. Those are just some simple designations, but it's important because I have talked with people and it has discouraged people at points and has made it difficult because they couldn't do that at this time. So planning and asking and talking to a realtor, you can give us a call at Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. You can go online to alaskahomesforsale.realestate or find me at alaskanrealtor.net and you can follow the connections uh, links down below in the comment section that I'd be happy to help answer those questions. But always make sure that as you talk with a realtor looking at properties, be sure that you're looking at what the home may or may not qualify for and the MLS usually will tell you that and you need to ask the realtor if that's part of your dream to think about. Now that doesn't mean you have to do that because in Alaska there are plenty of homes that are traditional homes. <laughs> we don't all live in cabins. Um, some of us do but not everybody lives in a cabin or an igloo. We don't even have igloos up here but beside the point you can have that dream and the best thing to do is to reach out to me or a, a realtor here in our office at Better Homes and Gardens, and we'd be happy to help you in any way. Thanks for tuning in today to these three things. Remember them, come back, take a look, take, check out some of my other videos. Like I said, I'm going to be going away for a couple weeks, uh, but I'll be back and be ready to go here real soon. Uh, and hopefully I'll have some videos put up here that I'm going to pre-record uh, so they're there and we'll give you a little bit more advice and information at least once during my time away. So y'all take care. Thanks for tuning in and make sure you like, subscribe, and whack that bell icon like we do salmon here every summer in Alaska.